Ottawa GGs came into the Mattamy Athletic Centre on Saturday evening and absolutely ripped the heart out of the Ryerson Rams with an 84-75 victory in the CIS Men's Basketball Championships, sending Ottawa to the gold medal game, while Ryerson is forced to play for bronze at 11.30 a.m. here on home court. How were the GGs able to get the victory? In the first half, they were out-rebounded 23-10, and in the third quarter, they accumulated 15 rebounds, winning the second half rebounding battle by 10 boards. Coach James Darrowin knows that rebounding and defense were the keys to the second half dominance. The theory is, is that we play small, we're going to give up some old glass at times, but we're not going to turn it over. So the possessions should still work in our favor. But, I mean, when you see the difference in that third quarter, I mean, we talked about it at halftime. We talked about the fight. I mean, it's 23 to 10, I think, at, at halftime uh, on the glass. And, and we, they, they had 10 old boards. We had 10 total rebounds. You're not going to win a game against a quality opponent with those kind of numbers. And most of uh, my uh, very calm speech at, at halftime was regarding, uh, you know, just the fight. We've got to get back in the fight here. And, uh, you know, I mean, you see Johnny and Mehdi and all our little guys flying in for big rebounds in traffic. And, you know, Vic's threes were big and Johnny made some big shots, but the game was, the game was won on the defensive glass in that second half. Rebounding will be a main factor in the gold medal match. When the Ottawa GGs take on the... I'm sure Coach James Darrowin knows who they're playing in the gold medal game, right? Well, who are we playing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess who, right? James uh, Darwin is, of course, very familiar with his championship opponent in the Carleton Ravens. Carleton and Ottawa will join to become only the third time in CIS men's basketball history when two teams will come together in consecutive years for the championship, joining the University of Victoria playing against Waterloo and St. FX against Brandon University. You can catch the game on Sportsnet 360 beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Sunday. For OUA Today, I'm Marshall Ferguson.